are you leaving WhatsApp? Here are six alternatives to consider. Would you like to leave WhatsApp? Do you not want WhatsApp to share your data? Here are some WhatsApp alternatives apps that you might like to use. If you really want to leave WhatsApp and switch to another app, this video is for you. The popular WhatsApp messaging app came under fire in January 2021 for asking its nearly 2 billion users to agree to new terms of service, seemingly allowing it to share more data with its parent company Facebook. The notification stated that users who decline will no longer be able to access their account from February 8. When millions of users began to leave the app as a result, the WhatsApp company quickly changed the deadline to agree to the new terms of service to March 15. They further clarified that WhatsApp is changing the way it shares data only in relation to optional business services. According to Facebook, changes to WhatsApp's terms of service and privacy policy allowed it to develop a strategy presented in October, aimed at making its messaging application geared towards corporate customer service. The group is seeking to monetize its platform by allowing advertisers to contact their customers via WhatsApp, or even sell their products directly there, as is already the case in India. Updates to privacy policies are common in the industry and we are providing users with all the information they need to verify the changes that will take effect on February 8, a spokesperson for the group said in a statement to the company, as reported by AFP. According to the company, the data that can be shared between WhatsApp and Facebook's application ecosystem, including Instagram and Messenger, includes contacts and profile information, with the exception of message content which remains encrypted. But the new conditions differ between the European Union and the rest of the world. In the case of the EU and the UK, they will only be used to expand the functionality offered to WhatsApp business accounts, the company told AFP. WhatsApp does not share the data of its users in Europe with Facebook with the aim of Facebook using them to improve its products or its advertisements, assured a spokesperson for the messaging service. When reached out to by AFP, the National Commission for Information Technology and Liberties, CNIL, recall that an investigation has been underway since 2017 on the consequences of the takeover of WhatsApp by Facebook for $22 billion in 2014, including the conditions for data transfer. The investigation was supported in 2018 by the Irish regulator following its entry into the force of the European Union GDPR, or General Data Protection Regulation, and it specifies the CNIL to ensure that this file should find a solution in 2021. Asked recently about the subject, European Commission spokespersons recalled that Facebook was fined €110 million Euros in 2017 for providing inaccurate information during the EU investigation into its takeover of the WhatsApp mobile application, and stated that the European executive preferred to use for its internal needs the competing application signal. With WhatsApp's overhaul of its privacy policy causing backlash from users around the world, many people are now considering new messaging apps for communication. WhatsApp has alerted users to the controversial privacy policy change via an in-app notification asking them to agree to share personal data, including their phone number and IP address, with its parent company, Facebook. In this context, social media users, including those all over the world, are looking for the perfect messaging app to switch to and to ensure more privacy-focused services. Therefore, there is a current global trend of regional messaging apps offering messaging and more competing with WhatsApp which has over 2 billion users worldwide. These apps, such as BIP, Telegram, and Signal, which feature games, localized stickers, video calling, and a host of other features, are gaining traction, especially over the past week. WhatsApp did say that they will not share user data with Facebook anymore because of the backlash, but it might change its privacy policy one way or another in the future. For users looking to escape an ultimatum that requires them to share their private data, here is a list of some of the social media messaging alternatives in 2021. The BIP app. The BIP messaging platform is hot in the messaging alternatives scene for 2021. Subject to European privacy regulation, the GDPR, it provides users with a free, secure, and entertaining environment for all of their individual messages and group messages. According to Google Play Store, BIP has recorded more than 10 million downloads worldwide. And, in recent days, more than 4.6 million new users have joined the platform, according to a press release released on Monday. What makes BIP Messenger attractive is that you can send and receive messages, photos, videos and documents for free, 
while enjoying high-quality voice and video calls in one app. Some specific features of BIP include making high-quality voice and video calls with friends or family, or meeting with groups of up to 10 people. BIP allows user messages to disappear from the chat screen within the time period you specify. Moreover, chats can be made more colorful and fun by sending funny and entertaining stickers specially designed for BIP users. Users' messages on BIP are encrypted if their backup feature is enabled. If their backup function is disabled, their messages will be deleted after a certain time. All communications between users' mobile devices and servers are encrypted and transmitted securely. On top of that, BIP Translator allows an individual to translate written and verbal words and sentences in any language to any language of your choice. There is also a wide variety of free and exciting games that you can choose from in the app. The Telegram app Telegram is a free, cross-platform, cloud-based instant messaging software and service available for download worldwide. Its operational center is based in Dubai. One of the features of Telegram is that it allows secret chat and its chats are encrypted user to server. You can opt in on the so-called secret chat on Telegram for full end-to-end -end encryption of chats. Secret chats are designed to be temporary and are not saved on Telegram servers. Besides end-to-end -end encryption, Telegram also allows its users to lock down their chats. Additionally, you can delete messages sent by other users from your chat conversations. At the same time, Telegram lets you control who can add you to groups, so no one can add you to a group without your permission. In addition to the ability to send text and voice messages, users can send animated stickers, make voice and video calls, and share an unlimited number of images, documents, up to 2 gigabytes per file, locations, contacts, and music via Telegram. The Signal app Signal is touted as a free, privacy-focused messaging and voice chat app that you can use on Apple and Android smartphones. A phone number is all you need to join the app, as stated on its website. Communications over Signal are end-to-end -end encrypted, which means that no one except people sending or receiving the messages can see the content of those messages, not even the company itself. Signal touted the latter on its website, saying, we can't read your messages or listen to your calls, and neither can anyone else. There are no ads, no specialists in affiliate marketing and no scary tracking in Signal. It is worth noting that Signal created the encryption protocol used by other companies, including WhatsApp and Skype. Besides its privacy, users can text or make voice or video calls with friends, one-on-one -on -one or in a group, and can use emoji reactions or stickers like in other apps. Recently, Signal became number one on the App Store after Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla, recommended his fans on Twitter to use Signal instead of WhatsApp. He tweeted, quote, use Signal, the Viber app. Viber is a free, simple and fast messaging app that claims to be the most secure, with a video calling feature. It is operated by the Japanese multinational company Rakuten. According to Viber's website, users' messages are encrypted as they travel the internet from their devices to recipients. Additionally, Viber points out that encryption keys exist on users' devices and nowhere else, meaning that no one, not even Viber, can read your messages. Do you use one or more devices, such as mobile phones, tablets and desktops? Just like with WhatsApp, your chats on Viber are 100% synced between all the devices you use, according to the developers. The Kakao Talk app Kakao Talk is a fast and multifaceted messaging application for smartphones with free text and calling features, operated by Kakao Corporation. Kakao Talk has 45 million active users in South Korea alone, or about 87% of the country's population. Like BIP and other messaging apps, Kakao Talk offers localized messaging, games, and features like local stickers. One on one and group chats are available via Wi Fi. 3G or LTE One of its unique features is that there is no limit to the number of people participating in a group chat. Interestingly, the app automatically syncs the user's contact list on their smartphone with the app's contact list to find friends who use the service. Users can also search for friends by Kakao Talk ID without having to know their phone numbers. With the plus friend feature, users can follow brands, media, and celebrities to receive exclusive messages coupons and other information in real-time via Kakao Talk discussion boards. Users can also purchase real goods through the Messenger's gifting platform. The Line app 
Line is a fun and secure texting app from Japan. Developed as a disaster response tool to help our HN Japan employees communicate during the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, it was later made available to the public and today offers encrypted messaging from end-to-end -end secure with other cool features like stickers and GIFs. There are also unique features such as line out for making international calls to non-line users, a keep function for saving favorite messages and photos, and more. There is also a light version of the app to facilitate smartphone users with basic specifications. Do you use WhatsApp? Will you leave WhatsApp? Would you mind if WhatsApp shares your data with Facebook? Let us know in the comments what you think of Facebook saying they will connect to your WhatsApp data. Let us know your opinion about the decision.